Welcome to my course on reading music for piano players. In this video, I'm going to be covering three things. I'm going to be just giving you an overview of the course so you have an idea for how it's structured. I'm going to be talking about who the course is designed for specifically. And I'm going to be talking about what it is that you're going to be able to do and what you're going to uh, know by the end of the course. So first of all, the, uh, the course is designed with two main educational principles in mind. The first is that uh, good sight reading, good music reading, um, begins with a solid foundation, a solid understanding of rhythmic notation and rhythmic note values. So a lot of the exercises that you do are, are set out to reinforce uh, lessons about rhythm. Um, the second educational principle is just that you should be applying as soon as possible uh, what you're learning in the tutorials to the act of playing the piano. So um, I want to I want to give you information, but I also want you to be applying that immediately to connect your brain, your eyes, your ears, your hands to the act of making music on a piano. So th that's, those are the two main, uh, main objectives, and together what that sort of means is that I have these units that are, the class is uh, broken into units, and each unit covers a handful of concepts that are related and that are very, like, you know, slowly, slowly, gradually getting harder and that you have plenty of time to practice those, to reinforce the, the concepts that you're learning. Um, a lot of those take the form of rhythmic exercises, rhythmic sight reading exercises, and at the end of each unit, starting in unit two, there's a, a little performance piece. There's a piece of music that um, I ask you to play, and that piece of music only covers concepts that we've, uh, only includes concepts that we've covered in previous units. So it should be very possible for you to do. <laughs> Um, at the end of each unit, those performance pieces, um, what you'll find out by the end is that they stack on top of each other, and basically you'll be playing every part of what you might call like a piano symphony. S so each part gets harder slowly, but by the end it, it sounds like you're playing a, a whole piece together with yourself. Uh, so that's the main um, material that we cover, that's the main structure of the course. Um, now, the people who are going to get the most out of this course are what I call early early music readers, um, maybe you understand, maybe you know the names of the notes or you've played around on it, messed around on a keyboard a little bit so you're, you're, you're familiar, um, you're, you're going to get the most if you're bringing your own uh, motivation to improve. If you're seeking out the information to improve and you sort of have that independent drive, you're going to get the most out of the course. I'd say the best um, way to estimate the appropriate age range would, to say, would be to say f ages 15 and up, roughly. That's a rough estimate. Not really for the young, the young ones. Uh, okay, so what you're going to know by the end of the class. Um, well, hopefully you'll be able to play a piece called Melody by Friedrich Baumfelder. It's a two-hand piece, so you'll be reading bass clef and treble clef. Um, it's a single melodic line, so your hands won't be doing too much crazy stuff, but they'll be playing um, different melodic lines, contrasting melodic lines, and together it'll sound like a piece. So y you'll be pretty proud to be able to play it, I think. I think it's the perfect piece to conclude the entire course which builds you up slowly to being able to do that. And the other sort of bigger objective of the course is to give you the skills and the confidence to approach a new piece of music in the future um, and to be able to start to break it down to understand it, to, to be able to understand what the rhythm is doing and to be able to pick out the pitches and, and that sort of thing. So that's the course in a nutshell, and I really hope that I see you in the next video.